According to the United Nations, at our current rate, we will not have enough food to feed the growing population by 2050. Food sustainability is so important, yet our world wastes nearly half of all the food we produce. In this video, we'll be covering the real problem and seven things we can do to help. Here we go. The agricultural industry is the largest industry in the world, yet it's also one of the most wasteful. Over 45% of all produce is lost or wasted along the cool chain each and every year. That's over $700 billion worth of food wasted every year. That wastage in storage and transport turns into rot and creates a larger carbon footprint than the entire airline industry. And it doesn't stop there. The loss extends far beyond produce itself and includes labour, time, money, energy and water. For example, nearly 30% of the world's water is being used to irrigate farms for food, food that often never arrives to its destination. So what's the solution? Here are the top seven practices to reduce our food waste at home. Here we go. Number one is buy locally. Agriculture and food now accounts for nearly 30% of all goods transported on our roads. This alone causes billions of unnecessary carbon emissions. When we buy from local suppliers, it means a lot less miles on the road and a lot less carbon emissions. And it also means fresher food for us. By supporting local providers, we help build locally, which can be helpful in case a food crisis does occur. Number two, buy from sustainable suppliers. Instead of thinking you have to research every brand, tell yourself you're just gonna make one change. For instance, if you live in America, this could be deciding to support local or only buying from supermarkets that only source sustainable products like Whole Foods. Number three, products not to buy. A lot of products are just not sustainable, no matter where you buy them from. So check your weekly shopping list for your commonly purchased items. Maybe write down the top 10 and see if they are destructive. For instance, according to the Sustainable Restaurant Association, it takes over 6,000 litres of water to produce one litre of almond milk. That's about 10 times the size of a spa pool. Yet you can make your own at home for around two litres of water. This is why so many coffee shops around the world do not sell almond milk anymore, or at least try to make it themselves. Cereal and soda are also some of the most purchased items yet the biggest wastes of waters in the world. Water is essential for food production, and in some cases, by only taking out one or two items from your list, you can halve your water consumption. For more information about water sustainability, we actually did a video on that right here. Number four is store correctly. Nearly 33% of all produce is thrown away at the customer end. Learning how to store correctly will save you money, save the environment, and ensure you have enough time to eat the produce you purchased. So, what can help with this? Write a list of the things you buy the most and learn how to store them properly. For more on how to store produce correctly and have an entire list of every fruit, its benefits, and how to store them in the fridge, check out all these videos we did here. Next up is organize your fridge correctly. Organizing your fridge will make it less likely to lose items only to find them at a later date when they're far past the use-by date. It also helps allow to circulate air better, which makes produce last longer and saves power. Most fridges circulate air and temperature, depending on the area with inside the fridge. For instance, you should have your fruit and vegetables in the crisper, but separate from other produce so they don't ripen as fast. Having them in crisper also means when someone opens the fridge, less oxygen gets into that little bit there, which again makes the produce last that much longer. Next up is get a sustainable fridge, if you can. A lot of fridges these days have been proven to make produce last longer. I'll put a link below to the top energy efficient and produce saving fridges below. Next up is ethylene absorbers. These little T-sized bags can be thrown into your crisper and absorb ethylene, which allows produce not to ripen as quickly, allowing you to have more time to eat them. There's also another one called Blue Apple, which in some cases has helped produce last up to three months longer. Speaking of storage, the very last point for this is use Tupperware. There is nothing like having last night's dinner for lunch the next day, and one of the easiest ways to waste less food is by storing it correctly. Number five is use smaller portion sizes. My mum used to say that I had to eat everything on my plate, and to this day, I always do. One university in America found that by changing plate sizes, the students ate a lot less. Portion sizes can not only help us be a lot healthier and have more energy, but also help us live longer and ultimately help others live longer as well as it's more efficient for the planet. So why not try smaller plates for lunch or dinner? Personally, I downsize my coffee mug and my dessert bowl to encourage myself to drink less coffee and have less sweets. I also bought a larger water bottle to encourage myself to drink more water. What's something you have done at home? Let me know below, I wanna hear from you. Number six is composting. Did you know that one third of all global landfill is food? Yes, and one of the biggest ways we can reduce our food waste is by reusing it through composting. 
The easiest way to do this is to have a three-tiered bin that has food, paper plastics and other. I personally found if you have a separate bin or if the bin's too far away from where your food scraps are gonna be, people just don't end up using it. When it's right next to each other, it's really easy. Little systems like this can make it so much easier to be sustainable. Once you've got your food scraps, take them outside to your bin where you can compost them. If you don't like composting or just don't want to do it in general, there are actually companies all around the world that can do it for you now, including rotating worms to help the compost speed up. Companies like Wire Waste in New Zealand, but I'll link to some other ones down below. And last but not least is number seven, grow your own food. Yes, we all knew this point was coming. If you have a balcony or land, you can grow your own food. Heck, even if you just have a sidewalk like the Urban Gangster, you can grow your own food. Having alternative food sources, even just a tiny amount, means that you'll have the resources and the knowledge to produce more food for yourself and your family if a food crisis does occur. So which one of those seven points were your favorite? Are you gonna implement any? Did I miss out on any points? Let me know below in the comment section. I linked all the videos from some of the references I had down there as well. And as always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. By turning that little gray thumb blue, you help our world go green. By suggesting more videos like this, it helps the world go more sustainable. So thanks so much for that. And until next time, have a good one. See ya.